Everyone hoped Kilmarnock Dundee United the replay would be better second time around. That included the players and both sets of supporters. It was the Tanadice team who made the first serious attacking moves. Jamie Dolan and Ray McKinnon set up a chance for Mark Perry and his header had Drago Lekovic on his toes. Next, Shell Olofsson wound up for the long throw. It was flicked on at the near post and Neil Duffy's effort was blocked just a yard off the line. Tommy McLean was the happier manager in the first half. After the interval, Kilmarnock began to threaten a bit more. A great link-up between Jim McIntyre and Paul Wright and McIntyre's effort touched over by Sieb Dijkstra. From the corner, Kevin McGowan's header went narrowly wide. The killy pressure more to the liking of Bobby Williamson. But United's pace in attack is always a factor. McKinnon's head flick gave Olofsson a run-in on goal, but his shot was off target. Then Kilmarnock had the ball in the United net. Dylan Kerr drove it in. There was a miscue off Stephen Presley's head. John Henry's shot was fumbled by Dykstra. And Wright snapped up the rebound. But the celebrations were a bit premature. Wright was ruled to be in an offside position when Henry shot at goal. United came to life, although this attack seemed to be going nowhere until Lekovic had a rush of blood. His attempted clearance could have ricocheted anywhere. With extra time looking a possibility, play raged down towards the other end. And Dijkstra was forced into another save. This marathon semi-final still goalless. And Tommy McLean feeling the pressure. Kilmarnock kept the heat on and United conceded a corner with just four minutes remaining. David Began took the kick. Gary Holt flicked it on. Henry hammered in a shot and McIntyre put the ball in the net. After nearly 180 minutes of cup football, the Rugby Park side had broken the deadlock. Could they hold out? Dundee United gave it one last go for the equaliser. Andy McLaren with the cross ball. Neil Duffy's flying header. It flew past and that was it. Kilmarnock threw to their first Scottish Cup final for 37 years, although the match winner played for Airdrie in the final two years ago. I've been telling them it's, it's a tremendous feeling to get to a final. Only played 10 minutes the last time, so hopefully I can go a bit further this time and play a bigger part. But uh, we're really looking forward to it.